Okay, so unboxing video today. It's a 50 pack of Hot Wheels. Came from Bargain Max in the UK. And it was around about 50 pounds delivered. There was a 10% off discount code on the site as well. So made it even more of a, a max bargain. And this is what we get. A big box of Hot Wheels. 50 cars included. Which is good. And on the uh, initial look on the outside, there's at least some that we can uh, we can make use of. We can already see a couple are just going to donate wheels to the cause and things like that. But uh, certainly some of them look quite smart. Let's figure out how we get into the box, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. see inside of it there they're all reasonably loose packed so I think we'll just get a see if we can get a tray at a time out something like that this is the front display ones that we could see earlier on more sellotape Gotta love a well wrapped bit of box. Get them open. Drop them all down. Let's see what we got. A 70 Camaro in orange. That's quite nice. Quite a nice model. An exotic. Ooh, not so keen on the old uh, green windows and, and things like that. I can see that being a donation. Some engine parts and things like that for other builds. What's this one? A Lamborghini Revention Roadster. Ooh, bit of a convertible. Nice shade of green with, I'm going to say, Gold wheels, I think. Mm. Okay. What's this fella? A HW50 concept. He's a bit. Uh, he's a bit ugly, isn't he? Blue and orange. Next. Custom 01 Acura Integra GSR, or one for the old uh, Japanese fanboys. Quite a nice model again, actually, but probably all I end up chopping up. Oof, another a rocket fire. Yeah, not convinced. There's an awful lot of benefit to that. So we could use the. The rocket tail piece or something. Okay. Probably. Nice shiny blue wheels. Next up. Ooh, another one for the Japanese fanboys. Skyline GTR BCN R33. Mm. That is quite nice. In red. Hmm. Cool. Next one, custom 77 Dodge van in chrome with some bonkers orange wheels on it. I'm sure about the wheels to be fair. But I haven't done a van yet for a Gaslands type build so you can see that happening. This one's quite nice, saw this when I first picked the box up, 55 Nomad. A few people on the on YouTube that I watch have already done these as, as various customs and and whatnot and I've enjoyed watching them. So I think we shall do something with that. I can go in the keep pile. Audacious. Audacious or what though? I'm not sure what it's audacious about to be honest. Not that audacious. 
it's a pawn mm -hmm. okay hmm. oh another nice one if you're into your old american muscle 57 chevy bit of a classic two door pillarless coupe side pipes lashings of chrome but again the same wheel that they have on a lot of the models that are a bit nondescript discs Meh. and then we have rise and climb which appears to have two push bikes in the back they could be motorbikes and a push i suppose i don't know car's not bad in shape for using and the little bike things on the back might be of interest in a build of some description Let's see the bikes you can quite see them very well mm. okay that is the first tier complete catalog that down onto the floor Let's see what we can get out next I think Nothing can just get a few hours, rough them out there and go through them with you. A Junosaur, mm. a Junosaur, good wheels. I'm sure we can use them on something. Not super detailed model wise. I'd see what it's like when we open it up. You might find that once you get inside it, there's something good. When I say the wheels, they'll work for something. Ooh. That's nice. A Land Rover Defender double cab. It's a sort of pickup truck. Land Rover Defender. Snorkel. Good wheels. Winch bumper. I mean, it doesn't need a lot to be a Gaslands car, that does it really, to be honest with you. A hulking great gun of some description on the roof. Job's a good one. What's the 53 Chevy? Oh, another cool car. That's quite nice. The green colour. Oh, nice deep dished wheels. Not super detailed, but I think it might have a see through green bonnet or hood on it. So you can see the engine. That's a bit strange. Mm. Pro stock Camaro. That's nice. What's that on the back? A little wheelie bar on the back. So you've got a little scoop on the front. The old classic Moon Eyes sticker. Moon eyes down the side. Let's see if we can turn it over and capture the uh, little wheelie bar at the back there. But yeah, 2010 Pro Stock Camaro. Ooh, another good one. 17 Jeep Wrangler. Not so keen on the colour, and the wheels are a bit bling. But you know, it's got the bit you need. It's got a tyre on the back and a I'm going to say that's supposed to be a jack. It looks like a giant chess piece. Never mind. And some sort of... Hmm. Again, it doesn't need an awful lot to be a, a gas lamp car, kind of that one. Oh, now yeah, I've just seen this on someone else's uh, Instagram. It's a little shorty bus, a cool combi. A little wheelie bar at the back. Very short. That is quite smart, actually. I'm not sure whether I'll chop that one up or just... Uh, get rid of the orange base and the mad wheels and just tone it down a bit <laughs> can't believe I'm saying tone it down a bit there you go oh another cool bug Volkswagen Beetle it's simply described as I'm not sure that that would be a stock engine in one of them what do you think uh, same wheels on a lot of models the same orange base that you get on lots of them now but still, cool beetle, that'll make something. <clears throat> okay, so one of the ones that I don't really understand. That's a bit... Not a bad looking car. Skull Shaker. 
So a bit like a bone shaker with the skulls at the front, but it's got a little dude sat in the middle. And he's not that little, to be honest. Is he? Hmm. But I like the model. The model's good. And it's been the fella off. Um, a Tricera truck. Okay, so this is a truck in the shape of a dinosaur. I'm pretty much going to say I'm not keeping that in the form it's in right now. It's going to turn into something else. Bizarre with the colour of the wheels. I don't know some of these. What's this one? F-150 Raptor. <laughs> Depends who you watch on YouTube, you're not just into little cars. If you're into big ones, there's a few dudes we're building these at the moment. Again, good truck, not a hundred percent gas lands, but won't take an awful lot to get it there in fairness. That's what we'll end up doing. What is that thing? A Hot Wheels Popper wheelie which looks remarkably like a Robin Reliant three-wheeler which was, let's not say big, but it was about in the 70s massive wheelie bar, silly engine and there's lots of stuff to take off that and use I can't really imagine a three-wheeler running around in the old gas lands, can you? what do you think? no, probably not uh, Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect, another little van Quite a nice one. Not so keen on the colour scheme, it's a bit a bit much for me on that. Yet again, blue and orange wheels. Mm. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Does it make it go faster if it's got silly wheels on it? I don't know. Mm. But pretty sure we can use it for something. Up to the end of that tray. Let's get the mouth upside down so we all get the supplies together. Oh, you're ready. Oh, it's a zoom in. So these are made to have your GoPro sat inside them. If you've got a Hero 5, the little tiny one. I don't. I have a normal sized GoPro that you're watching the recording of right now. So we have to find some other use for that fella. The King Cuda. Can't go wrong with that. Nice engine. model something you might see knocking around when it's uh, all matte coloured and running around that's a king we had a pawn before didn't we hmm. Let that one go there you go so they're part of the checkmate collection and what I might actually do is put the two of them together. Maybe. Or keep them together and do a little set with them. Might be a good idea. Just being nosy and looking out the windows of car just stopping outside. Not coming to me though. Mm -hmm. Neighbours take away. Never mind. I digress. A uh, Tooligan. Another little sort of bonkers creation quite flat be quite racy some sort of a spanner wrench tool at the back i'm sure the best way to capture that for you so that let you just try to see it on that one now there you go that'll be getting chopped up i have to go through and do a pile of what's getting chopped up and what isn't Ooh. A BMW K300R motorbike. I haven't done a Gasland motorbike either. That will be interesting. Actually, I like that one. Hmm. Very good. The Fair Lady 2000. So, one of the early cars for you uh, Japanese motorbikers. Quite a nice looking thing. Not skin on the red wheels as usual. They're a bit bizarre, but never mind. Oh, 
a bar or hole. Mm. Yeah, that's a little mini truck type beast. The back seems to drop down on it. I wonder if there's something in the back. It says giving it a rattle. That's, that's going to tell me, isn't it? You're rattling around inside the plastic. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So. Mercedes Benz Unimog 1300. Now that's quite cool. I mean, I quite like these in the real world. So, finding one in here is a bit of a bonus. Nice wheels on the back. That's definitely going in a some gas landing mayhem. <laughs> Ooh, a Blastus Moto Trike. Right again, you see that's. That's quite good for the old uh, gasland stuff, isn't it? I like that one as well. Very good. Rip rod. Yeah, not so. Not super keen on that one, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's not a terrible looking model. I just don't. I wonder if it's one that's got the roll cage underneath. So if you take the body off, you're left with a sort of buggy, different wheels on it. Would look quite nice. We'll look into that one. That one might turn into something. Speed box. Seems to be some sort of a red translucent minibus. I'm not doing well for mad wheels so far. They're all pretty much run of the mill cars again if I'm to buy some wheels at this rate. Batman the animated series. That seems to be a very flat I consider it quite boring looking model to be honest. Mm. We'll use that for scrapping a scene somewhere. Oh that one's quite mad. What is that? An Arista rat. Okay. There is some sort of a engine type feature underneath at the back just about apart from that I think it's a chop up and use what's that one a power rocket that's very similar to one we had before it's a bit of artistic nonsense really to be honest in gold mm -hmm. That's nice. Mustang Mac 1, 1971. Red. Again, asking to be chopped up and turned into something interesting, which we'll do. We'll oblige. This one here. 90 Honda Civic EF. Another Japanese fanboy machine. Hmm. So, sure we can find the use of that one. And this one here, a Volkswagen Golf GTI, classic British run around. That and the a Audi A3, favoured by drug dealers, I believe. There you go. Mm hmm. That's that box finished. Next one. And I should say the last one. So this is the last collection. So we won't rip through them, we'll make it move. A Bogzilla, I like that. Bogzilla looks good. Good wheels. It's more like a some sort of a bongus, bonkers single seat buggy type doofer. But we get some good parts off that one. Uh, what other Skyline GTR? 32. In blue this time, not quite as fetching a colour, I don't think, as the uh, as the deep red one. Lo and behold, what's this one here? 
another Batmobile a slightly different Batmobile but nevertheless almost as uninteresting and boring as the last one although it is blue which is better than the black one but only marginally to be fair Ooh, the embosser that's nice kind of ramp truck I don't like the colours as usual. It looks very, uh, looks very plastic. But apart from that, I could probably be able to do something with that as well. I don't know, some sort of winning formula, bit of an F1 Indy style car. Not keen on the white wheels. That's a bit bizarre as usual for Hot Wheels. But there you go. I suppose it's one of the ones that races well maybe. A rig storm. Again, shockingly bad. Wheels. <laughs> Depressingly terrible. But the model might do something. Get rid of that wing. Do something on the back, pointing backwards, perhaps with a gun tower on it or something. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Gazella GT, another concept type car. Uh, pinky purpley something with blue glass and blue plastic wheels. I don't know. Really know. Ooh, another Beetle. And another one in the Checkmate series. Hmm. That's a bit bizarre. So we've got one of nine. Seven of nine, eight of nine. Hmm. What's this? Eruption. Okay. Another track star type car, so one assumes it's got it's got some weight to it. Looks like it's metal based to hold it down better. But again it's a bit of a bizarre concept looking thing. Not super keen. And last but not least an El Camino. Good, I like them. Good for chopping up and doing things with. And that is the box dump. Just show you. Yeah, there it was empty. That's your 50 done. <coughs> Hopefully, you've enjoyed opening that box with me. If you have, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you haven't, leave a comment saying why. If you want any of the cars out of the box, I'll accept generous offers. Uh, and if you'd like to see them done in a particular style, I'd welcome that too. Apart from that, see you next time. Ta-da!